But he'll just essentially ramble on and be like, thanks for the rose. I got you guys way too tingled out right now. Stuff like that, right? And as somebody who experiences ASMR, I can't help who I get ASMR from. But so many people are craving that shoe tapping that he does. Um, just relaxing back and talking, talking about getting you guys way tingled down, things like that. With that being said, I'm going to be doing that kind of tapping on shoes. I don't collect shoes, however, I do have some funny stories with the four shoes I have today, three, I think. Two of those shoes, which make a pair, I didn't graduate high school by the way, are a pair that I got off of my landlord, this awful landlord I had, her name was Rochelle, and our roof caved in before we bought our house, um, in the rental that we were staying in. We, we were with her for like six years, right, in two different units, and she would, she liked me in the beginning, in the beginning, keyword, um, and she knew that I liked, like, Louis Vuitton. It was right when I started YouTube, started making a little bit of money before I knew how to save, things like that. And she was like, well, I have a pair of uh, Christian Louboutins. And I don't wear stilettos. I don't wear heels ever. Like, it's a very rare occasion. Um, once I, w I went with my neighbor to one of his parties and him and his husband's house looks like an art gallery. And you know people like that. Like, he knows what I'm talking about. They're very fancy, they're very clean, and they're very well-spoken, they're very articulate, and they've worked hard for what they have. Um, I'd like to say I worked hard for what I have, but I'm not articulate, nor am I classy, nor do I hold any of that. I come from a addicted background. It's an entire thing, right? So, of course, I was like, yes, I'll take the opportunity. She sells me these for like $800, okay? We're gonna tap on them, and I'll get into the story time, but I want to start out by getting into it because we're like four minutes in almost. So with that being said, if you would like to stick around for this, this is kind of a chill, kind of a life update in a way. By the time you're watching this anyway, I'll be laying on a beach, right? I have a chipped tooth in my back molar with an infection in it as we film this. Don't worry, I'm not uncomfortable. And I'm here to give you those tingles, tingle, 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 tingles. The first shoe I'm going to be tapping on, which by the way, the best shoe on this platform is Maddie Dingles. Dingle, 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 These are the Pokemon X. Is that what you say? The Pokemon Clark's Collab. These shoes sold out. I'm a size eight, eight and a half in some shoe. This is a size nine because they're unisex. What do you think? I got the yellow because the yellow was the only ones they had left. Has a little number on the back for Pikachu. I only wore these once and it still has the sticker on it.
I like the mustard yellow. Um, I have very pale skin, so actually this boot with this shirt would be very appropriate for an outfit. And this is me talking as if I know something, and I can guarantee you I don't. I was thinking of selling these. They've only been worn once. I mean, I tried them on and then wore them out that day. And I love the detail. I don't like shoes. I don't care for shoes. Right now, which I'm probably going to ruin this video. I'm wearing absolutely filthy <laughs> um, Harry Potter Crocs. <laughs> and this is what I wear every day. Every day, family. So when this collab came out, I was like obsessed with Crocs. I still am. I had a friend, Milton, who's like probably dog, you know, dog doo doo in these shoes. But, um, what was I saying about being obsessed with Crocs? I still, oh, my friend Milton, he went to jail and he got a pair of shower shoes that were Crocs at the jail. I mean, different jails have different shoes. He brings them home and wears them around all the time. I'm pretty sure he still has them. I haven't spoken to him too in a bit. And literally, he's like, when I was like, Milton, why don't you get rid of these damn shoes? He's like, I earned them. I'm like, that is awful. This is not a role model story to tell you, family, so don't be going to jail getting some free Crocs and then wearing them around after being like, I earned them. I love you, Milton, to this day, however. <laughs> but yeah, he earned them. So anyway, I've earned these. How did I earn them, per se? So anyway, I don't collect shoes, that's the point. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back on. But I do still have an obsession with Crocs, right? Back to the beautiful Pikachus. Pika Pika. So I had braces. As many of you know, I lost a bunch of teeth later on in life. Believe it or not, not from being on, um, you know, being on the syrup or the sauce or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, when I'm looking at these boots and I see the little glitter inlay they have on the, um, ridges at the bottom, I, it reminds me of the retainer you get after you have braces. But yeah, so the shoes are basically, um, they came out with Bulbasaur, um, the three mains, the originals, which is Charmander, Bulbasaur, and, um, wait, what am I talking about? Yeah! Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. Were there four? Were there three? I'm literally going to get my peach chewed by all of the um, Pokemon community. I wanna be the very best. No one ever was. Catch them is my real quest. To train them is my cause. I've got dyslexia if I get a why don't we switch to a different shoe? These sell on eBay for like four or five hundred dollars right now. I'm willing to give them away for like, I don't know. But if you're looking for a pair of nines, unisex, these are in excellent condition. Um, obviously I went out with them for one night. So they're a little bit gently used. Speaking of Crocs, 
Deluxe, the second shoe I have because I didn't really plan this video well. It was kind of just like a little chill video. I never even really got to wear these. I think I wore them once to Dairy Queen, which by the way, I haven't had fast food in two months. I've been on a diet. Um, long story, I'll tell you, I'll tell it in another story time video update video. Jojo ASMR who, you know, exposed him anyway, so kudos to Jojo, however. Um, he moved over to TikTok and his streams are literally just thank for the rose, like, I don't know, you know, different bits and pieces. And as I scroll through my day, like, I'll come up all of the ASMR creators, like, from YouTube, I get recommended on TikTok. However, newer creators, like creators, which I'm so grateful for to find on TikTok. I just, I don't ever see them. Like, people will kind of reach out and be like, oh, somebody tried your fishbowl, or this and that and the other. Anyway, these are the Hocus Pocus Croc um, collection. I have a lot of the Croc collabs in the house. Um, and obviously the one I wear the most is the Harry Potters. I like the slides. I don't like the original. Halloween. Um, so far I have the... I really wanted the 7-Elevens. Um, they came out with a 7-Eleven version as a uh, former junkie. 7-Eleven was my favorite when I lived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 7-Elevens everywhere on every corner. Um, and we would always stop and get a big... Get cigarettes, get a magazine. Steal the magazine. Many of you know clean now, actually. 13 years clean, um, if you want to count. Mid-2011, and I'm really proud of that. So, those stories are fun to tell, however, they're not anything to be proud of, they're not anything exciting, so watch before you get that idea. You know, I've been really obsessed with the craft, um, certain, I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas, like, things like that, like, things that kind of move from, like, you know that fall is coming into, like, the holidays. Many of you know Christmas is my favorite. I don't even care about Thanksgiving, like, I don't. I never have, never will. I mean, we had big Thanksgivings. But, um, I love Halloween leading up to it. So, you guys ready for the story time? Okay, so I had a landlord who, she's like the rich, famous landlord in town, okay? Her name is Rochelle. She had a husband, Mike. Uh, they are incredibly attractive people. They take care of themselves, this and that, and they really saved my butt a long, long time ago, okay? Well, she took a liking to me. She wouldn't talk to any other of her tenants, but she would text me. She invited me over to her house to hang out, come to parties. I never did. I was too nervous and too intimidated by her. One thing I learned is you don't tell people when you're intimidated by them, okay? Anyway. So, at some point, I realized, like, yeah, she was probably taking advantage um, of my 
situation because I rented a unit. I rented altogether three apartments. The one we lived in a few years, then we moved up to where I live now in a um, duplex. Um, and then in that same time, I was renting another apartment to film in. If you guys remember, like, my happy birthday video, um, my live streams, things like that were all in that one house, okay? Well, anyway, um, I started liking things like Louis Vuitton, things I never had before that I always, like, really enjoyed. And I still do, and I have my purses and things like that, and I want to get rid of them. People were like, oh, well, you need to store your purses in their dust bag. You're gonna see in a moment. Um, I could be wrong on all of this. These could be real. Anyway, long story short, to make a long story short, um, she was like, I have these Laboutins, and she would always collect, like, uh, what, Ed Hardy clothes, like, they are very attractive people, but, like, they wore, like, the Ed Hardy, like, really bright colored clothing, okay? She didn't have much Louis Vuitton, things like that, and the things that she did, she seemed to really value, like, when I was in her house, she had, like, an indoor pool, indoor hot tub, it was insane, huge on, like, so many acres of land, and she's like, I'll sell you these Laboutins for, like, eight, nine hundred bucks, I'm, I'm throwing out a number, I don't remember, it's been 2018, okay? Mind you, I don't wear heels, and I don't wear stilettos, so she hands me these shoes. I bought them. That's the story time. Um, the roof ended up, a bunch of stuff ended up starting happening. I was always on time for rent. We thought we were friends, like, uh, Victor and I thought we were friends with them, like, always coming over, always helping, things like that, uh, would come and fix a break until we bought a house, and her whole demeanor towards me changed. She didn't text me anymore whenever, if I was, like, even two days before I didn't send, because I would always send early payments. If I didn't send it, she'd be like, I need to rent on this day at this exact time, and things like that. The roof ended up caving in the duplex. Turns out she was making us pay property taxes for her house. So much stuff. Like, that's a whole story time on its own. I haven't heard from her in years, and I don't care. But, um, when we moved out, we ended up leaving behind some furniture. And we left our trash on the edge of the property where she told us to leave it, where we were paying the trash bill as well. And she went crazy. Like, one, because we ended up moving out abruptly because we closed on our house sooner than later. Second, because she was mad that, like, her long-term tenants were leaving. And she was dealing with a really bad situation next door, right? So, we essentially became enemies. So, the one thing about that is I don't keep my mouth shut whenever I feel people do me wrong. It's gotten me in trouble here and there, but other than that, I'll never shut up when somebody does me wrong. I don't care at what point in my life. Um, that's just something I deal with. I kept my mouth shut all my years, so I bought these Laboutins. So, let's get into the This is the dust bag. It's soft, okay? And it says Christian. out. It's about time you got the tingles. Okay, I gotta stop, but it's stuck in my head. She gives them to me, and I'm just so honored to own these Laboutin shoes that, um, <laughs> I look at them now. They are probably real. Maybe they don't have a certificate of authenticity. They don't have an up area, or area code, barcode. They don't have a serial number, and all of my Louis do, like, they have the receipts that go into the, like, they have the keys to the lot, like, things like that, okay? Okay, I don't like that. Here's the condition of the shoe. These are my Christian Louboutins. <laughs> Just they, I think they're fake. I'm pretty sure they're fake. I never looked it up. But the reason I think this is because, one, I mean, if these are, like, vintage, maybe? I mean, I'm trying so hard to this day in 2024 to be like, she didn't scam me. Please, family, tell me if these are real. If they're real, Rochelle, I doubt you're watching this. I still hate you, but I'm sorry for, like, assuming these are fake. I used to buy, like, fake Louis Vuittons off of, like, AliExpress and, like, walk out in public with them. This is years ago when I was, like, picking up cigarette butts off the ground because I was so poor and, like, 115 pounds. By the way, I'm halfway to that. 
I don't want to be that. I'm just saying. Anyway. So it says made in Italy. three beats in my head that I'm trying to make like into something and it's not working. So here's this shoe. Anyway, the whole bottom. So, I mean, this, these are obviously worn. I never wore these at all except to like try them on, walk around the house. I think I tried to actually walk in these for an ASMR video on our hardwood floor and it didn't work. And my daughter tried to wear these because she would try, you know, when she was younger, like getting into mommy's shoes and things like that. And she saw, I think on the Rugrats, like, Angelica or something wearing her mom's uh, heels. Or actually, no, I'm wrong. It was in the Family Stone and um, Sarah Jessica Parker, the little girl, was wearing her shoes in the movie. So anyway, in my little dust bag. Here's the other one. <coughs> Are you guys ready? Here's the whole set. <laughs> I mean, they're worn. They might be real. But again, this is the same woman who, like, I don't know. Like, but anyway. You gotta tell me, family. But yeah, the whole story time gets so deep. Like, not in a bad way. I don't know. She, like, had a very short fuse. And she always took it out on everybody but me. Like, she was, like, I was, like, the quiet and by her side all the time that she would tell me about her problems and then whenever I became her problem because the roof caved in and she wouldn't fix it and there was all this stuff um I became like a junkie who could never like have a house and things like that and I'm really grateful because um yeah I have a house now and did everything that you know she told me I couldn't So that's my little Laboon story, and these are my three shoes. That's how I don't collect shoes. Like, I have a pair of Ugg shoes. They're like little slip-in shoes that I just wear all the time. At home, I wear my Crocs. In the winter, I wear these Amazon boots. They're called soda boots. They're like 35 bucks. shoes back in their um, authentic dust dust bag. I have a Louis Vuitton dust bag. I have a couple, but, and they are like actually, they're like, what's the word? They're like tougher fabric. But this is like, I don't know, I'm probably wrong. Let me look. As somebody who like owns real like high-end bags and then also has like the AliExpress bags back in the day, um, this is a no for me, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments, family. But with that being said, if you stuck around this long, do me a favor, put a peach emoji if you have it. Put a peach, put a peach, put a peach emoji in the comments. And next time you'll see me, I will hopefully have my tooth fixed, no infection, and I'll be laying on a beach somewhere. I love you with all of my person. I hold space for you and show yourself a little grace.